Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to explain about how to create a static website hosting by using AWS F3 bucket. So first of all, let's share my screen. So first we need to log in the AWS console. Okay. So let me open the AWS console. So here, let me select the S3 service. Okay. So S3 in this one, it's a simple storage service. So here we can upload the data, download the data. So anytime if you want, you can upload. Anytime if you want, you can retrieve your data. So here I have a many buckets, guys. Uh, I have so many buckets are there. But now what we need to do, we are going to enable the static website hosting. We are going to enable the starting website hosting. So first we need a bucket. Then we need an object. Then, when, then only we can go the static website hosting. Okay. So where we can upload the data, where we can download the data, that is something called S3 service. So in that S3 service, we have a major parts, two parts. One is S3 bucket, another one is S3 objects. So buckets in the sense, container is called as a buckets. Object is, objects in the sense, it's a files and folders called as a objects. Okay. So here AWS have a naming convention. So that's why buckets is called as a container. Object is called as a files and folders like that. Okay, so here I have uh, so many buckets are there. Now what I'll do, let me create one bucket. So that bucket I'm going to upload an object. Okay, so then we can enable the static website hosting. So first of all, let me click on create the bucket. So let me click on that. It will redirect to the respective page. Here it will ask the bucket name. So the bucket name is a very, very unique name. Uh, we, we need to give the unique name only. The reason is, Actually, S3, uh, S3 service is a global one. It's not a region based service. It's a global one. So globally, it will going to check. If you are going to give any kind of bucket name, that time it will going to check globally. Globally, in that sense, not only your account, it will going to check all the AWS account. So the, may, the name will be available any particular account. That time, uh, the bucket name, it won't work. So that is the reason here we need to give the unique name of bucket. So here uh, one notification is there. bucket name must be globally unique and must not contain spaces or uppercase, le uppercase letter like that. So here we need to give the bucket name. For example, static website. Let me give the static website. Okay, finally I want to create the bucket. So that time it's showing error. Bucket name, bucket with the same name already exists. So that is the reason we cannot uh, take this name. So we can give the another name, for example, static website one, two, three, like that. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Here we can mention the, uh, we can give the AWS region. So uh, the, here, actually, this is the global one. But why we need to give the region? The reason is uh, here we, we need to enable the region. Whatever region you given during the bucket creation, so all the region buckets going to showing only in this S3 console. So here we need to enable the bucket region and all. Okay, as of now, I'm going to enable Singapore region. So finally, I'm going to create the bucket. Okay, I'm going to create the bucket. So once bucket created, then inside the bucket, we can upload our data. So go inside of bucket. So this is static website 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go inside of bucket. Here we can upload our data we can retrieve our data but as of now we don't have any uh, objects we don't have any files we don't have any folders so what we need to do first we need to upload the data first we need to upload the data so now what i will do let me uh, create one in uh, index.html file okay let me create one file so let me open the notepad Now I'm going to write the HTML file.
now let me save this file so the file name will be index.html so let me save the file okay successfully saved in my desktop now what i'll do go to the aws console here i want to upload my data upload my index.html file so let me select the file so here i can upload the data here i can upload the data so upload is succeeded guys okay now we are going to enable the static website hosting so before enable the static website hosting we need to follow one step that is something called objects i mean uh, bucket public access and object public access so how to enable the public access in bucket and object first we are going to uh, enable the public access for bucket how to enable it here we can get a uh, multiple option object properties permissions so go to the permission under the permission we can get the public access already it's a by default it's disabled we can enable sorry by default it's enabled so we can disable the block public access let me click on edit part here already blocked let me unselect here i want to make a save changes so it will asking confirm yeah it confirm so let me make confirm okay so successfully edited block public access settings for this bucket so bucket uh, now as of now bucket get a public access next one we need to give a public access for object how to enable go inside of index.html here we can get the one more option that is something called permission under the permission we can enable the public access for object here we can get the bucket owner so under the under the bucket ownership we can get the acl access control list using this access control list only we can enable the public access for object so now let me select acl enabled here i'm going to uh, acknowledge it and then i'm going to make a save changes as of now my bucket and my objects have a public access so then what i'll do go inside of my bucket so index.html is there go to the properties so where we can get the option like index sorry where we can get the object uh, option like a static website hosting so if you go to the properties so under the properties you can get the option like pro static website hosting okay so if you come down you can get the option static website hosting if you please edit on this so if you edit this here uh, by default is disabled okay now i'm going to enable this so now it once you can enable it will asking the file name our file name is index.html okay index.html let me save changes now static website is enabled so when you enable the static website hosting that time you can get one url okay so that url okay we can access our static website using website hosting by using this url we can access our website and all so let me copy the url okay go to the browser here we can paste it okay then we can get the website actually yeah forbidden error that means i have a, a small mistake go in go go to your object so please select your object so we can select one option that is something called make save changes like go to the action here we can get the one more option make public using acl so let me enable the option then only my object will be public so let me click on make public okay so now let me go to the url again refresh it now i can get the website welcome to high tech intuition have a nice day so this is what we we enabled the static website hosting so when you are going to enable your static website hosting that time your bucket and your object going to uh, get a public access then only you are uh, static you can get the static website hosting then, on, uh, then only you can enable the uh, you can get one url that url uh, by using that url you can get the static website hosting so this is something called uh, static website hosting by using s3 bucket and the s3 object so uh, first we need to enable the public access for a bucket then we need to enable the public access for object then we can go the options like actions under the action we can get the one more option that is something called make public using acl so that acl via we can get the public access for object then only we can get the static website hosting okay so this is something called aws static website hosting so that's all about guys so thank you guys